Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. I thought today I would actually share my office space with you. As you can see it's behind me here and it's in our bedroom because there's nowhere else to put it so I've just taken over that whole wall there. This has been a long time coming um, I've had a lot of people asking about the office stuff and yeah. So this is my setup. I'm going to go through all the drawers, tell you where everything is from and link everything down below for you as well. So I hope you enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching. So this is my office space. This is where I do everything from printing, cutting, foiling, packing orders. It's all done here. So I'm going to have everything linked below for you from where everything is from. The white drawers and the desktop units are from ikea and my chair is from a second hand store that was just local to me and i sprayed the legs gold but it's actually getting a bit worse for wear now but um when i did any other sharing of my office before like a video or a picture everyone would ask where my chair was from and it was just a second hand store so you can't actually find it anywhere <laughs> But I will have everything linked down below for you and now I'm going to get more in depth and share everything and where it's from and just the way I have things. I haven't tidied any of the drawers or anything so if they're a mess I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> this unit here I got from B&M store I think. It's in one of the vlogs where I'm putting it together and it's supposed to go up ways but I didn't have anywhere for it and I just bought it because I thought that would be great but I didn't actually need it so... <laughs> It fits long ways like this and it actually is the perfect height, so it's great. Um, these are my two test Erin Condrens from the last couple of years. That's my Kate Spade planner. These are all my other Erin Condrens from previous years that I actually used. This is a test happy planner. Then I have here, this is my current journaling card that I've given out with every order and I'm changing it every month. Um, this is a card holder. This is from Kate Spade. I don't actually use it properly as it should, more decoration. Uh, this is just a A5 planner from Audi, but I don't use it. This has all of my full kits in, which I've done a video of what's in these. This is a new one, but there is a video with these and I'll link it below what's inside. This is just a planner I found on Amazon and I don't use it anymore. I filled it up with just stuff, just a notes notes book but i just like the cover it's so pretty these are all my icon stickers these are my foiled stickers and these are new stickers from these are just stickers from oh darling stationery that's a sampler there <laughs> of someone else but yeah there we go really pretty and these two folders and that one are from planner face and this one is from wendy prints down here I have all my invoices, so these are ones that I have done and are ready to go. In here I have all of my invoices that are already done and finished and been posted. And down here I have all of April's paperwork that I do my tax at the end of each month just to keep on top of it. So that needs to be done, but some of these invoices need to go in here, so I have to keep it separate for now. These two baskets were from Audi, which were a great price. I think they came to as a set of two I'm not sure I can't remember this is my foiling machine from Heidi Swap and these are two orders that are partially finished and just have foil items to add on so moving on I just have my invoice printer down here on the floor I am planning to get a little filing cabinet to go here to put my tax stuff in and then to put that on top these are my other printers here I've got two of these normal ones and then I've got my laser one here this is from Ikea as well, and some of these drawers. So in here I have replacements. So I have some new Heidi Swap mats that I need for foiling. And then that's just a smaller one that I don't use. Then I have my cutting mats, all of my ink. And then I have these, which are white out. And then back here I have a glue mouse, which I need more of, but I don't use them as much anymore. This is my bag. I take all of my... Um, orders in when I've got a lot. It's Erin Condren. It was a freebie from this collection with the stripes. That was a couple of years ago now. And then I have a cutting strip replacement for my cutting machines and ink mat because I've got a Airmel ink pad now. And then I've just got these for my Dymo label printer, but it's rubbish. It doesn't actually work. It doesn't cut. And then I've got these post-its that I don't use. When I was 
doing business cards with my shop these that's what they came in so i just use them for dividers and then these i got from uh john lewis or like waitrose that's that one in here i have all of my foils so i like to keep um a backup of everything so when i get low on one i get a backup so it's underneath so i actually need to get another silver because that's at the end of the roll and it's no good but yeah i've just got gold rose gold silver holographic matte champagne black oh i have another silver i didn't even realize that oh i don't need to get it then <laughs> and then i've just got pink that i had for a limited edition for valentine's day and then a green one that i like to look of and i plan to use it for april for easter but i never got around to de designing anything and black is used for the harry potter this is all well it says extra packaging but it's not really in here i just have some envelopes that i was trying for deliveries but they're too big they'll fit the order in but they don't fit inside of the envelope then i have some extra cello bags and then there's just acetate that i don't do anymore extra packaging down there and then some bin bags <laughs> at the back i just have random crap so my old business cards i don't use anymore and then just other random stuff so some planner clips some Kate Spade thank you cards from my wedding, I think they were. So, yeah, that's a random drawer. That's more business cards that I don't use anymore. No. This one is printer paper. So this is just my invoice paper. So this is my printer paper. This is my, oh, some vellum that I didn't know I had from Heidi Swap. That was just for me to play with for personal use. This is the paper I use for all of my inserts for my uh, Kiki K personal planner. And then that's just my a second screen for my iPad Pro protector. These I just keep in case I ever need them for like eBay or stuff like that. This is a, another random drawer full of stuff. I have my laminator, laminated paper. Just boxes of stuff that I'm using. This is where I keep all of my work on diamond printer that I don't think has actually ever worked properly because it's just rubbish. These tabs that we had from our wedding because we had them put, take pictures, our guests take pictures and then put them in a guest book but we had loads of it over. This is just loads of books from printers and all of that. This I got from America when I went to New York for my honeymoon but I got a size too big. Just my uh, AirPods and just like colour tape and packaging materials and tons and tons of plugs i don't know how i've ended up with so many plugs that is all that drawer oh no it doesn't shut oh no oh no <sighs> no something's falling down the back and then there's my invoice printer around there while i'm on the floor <laughs> i will show you what's inside these drawers as well so these are the newest set of drawers that I've just bought. So in here I have my glossy paper. Then I have, these are my test planners. So I have my Erin Condren and my Happy Planner. Then this is my matte clear paper. So, and I also keep all of my cutting mats in here. So I use the Silhouette cutting mats for premium and glossy paper and the foiling stickers. And then for all other cutting, I use these ones that I got from Amazon. Transfer folder for my link machine. So then I have my, just a brush that I use for getting rid of any dust or lint on orders. And then my foiling paper is under there. This is just a box full of just pens that I've collected over the years. These, this is a pile of glitch. This is from when I was testing all my papers. This is my matte and my glossy uh, glitch pile that I'm collecting. This is my premium matte paper. Ooh. This just has all of my foiling cutouts, um, dividers that I've made, and then there's other paper under there, glossy paper that I use for personal use, and vellum here, which is in the sale to be discontinued is just oh 
my matte paper so I have cheap matte paper on the top which I just use for all of my labeling so my um, labels that I stick on my parcels like my paper sheet plans and stuff like that I use that cheap paper from this shop here A4 labels and then my actual uh, regular matte paper is on the bottom there which I'm not saying where it's from and then this is all of my foiling glitch and then under here I just have all the wires recycling bin I have a stool back there for my feet when I'm working <laughs> and then I just have tacks and a guillotine and then a regular bin so coming up onto the top here, I have all of these baskets and they keep everything in. This is all of my stock for my shop. So the baskets, I've had questions before, they are from Ikea. This is the number. I'll have them linked below. These are all my glitch bits in here. And then I have my sale kits, my sale bits. These are all the sale headers that I put this is just i used to put stuff in these and then i grew into these baskets so now i just use them to divide this is all of my foiling i made these dividers myself i just bought an a6 uh divider set online and then i made them slightly smaller to fit in the basket and then i laminated them all so these are all of my foiled items and then i have the high foil here which i sandwich and then i have luna and bonnie in here the uh, character collections in here i have my monthly icons and well monthly stickers and icons so these have icons in glitter headers that i think i'm gonna get discontinue soon and then all of my monthly kits i'm not a ready ready to ship shop i'm a made to order for the most part so it doesn't always have stuff in when i make a new release i generally get some ready but then they've all sold out so yeah i just have erin congen notes pages and then happy planners at the back these are all my mini kits so i get them partially ready because i have different girls so i get them partially ready with the headers in there as well and these are all my full kits. The full kits is generally the big, the most full. It's been the, this is the fullest this box has ever been. So I tend to get all the backing stuff ready, and sometimes the front boxes as well, so that it cuts down on cut time. And then here I just have my glossy and premium little selection because I I buy two thousand sheets of my regular map, but. Glossy and premium is a lot more expensive, so I don't want to just cut a load of stuff and then it never sell because then it's a waste. These are just always made to order, but then I do have extras from if I have space on a page instead of just having nothing, I will put something. So these are just some of the premium cuts I've done with all the headers and then same for glossy. And then this is usually where I keep all of my orders that I have to do, but they've sort of gravitated down here and I just end up piling everything down here instead. But that's generally where that goes. So I never said where the shelves were from. So these shelves here were from Amazon, um, both of these, but you can't get them anymore. And then this one is from Argos. It's slightly wider and slightly thinner width. And yeah, it's wider, but it's perfect. So it fits in nicely. And then I have four silhouettes. I bought this one and set it up in a vlog, but I will be selling it once this lockdown quarantine is over because I just don't use it. You have to use a new, the latest version of the software and it's, I, I hate it. I hate the software. I was gonna do where I print on the older software and then cut on the new software so I could use it, but it was just such a faff. It was just so long winded and just took up so much time that I stopped doing it. So I'm not, I have I've barely used that one so that one will be sold and then I'm going to try and find an older version like this so I have three here and they all do different things so this one does all my cutouts where I cut out the page completely because I have all different blades for everything this cuts out everything this one does my glossy premium matte and 
uh, foil in so I have different blades so this is my glossy blade that's my premium matte blade and that's my foiling blade because they all need different depths and I don't want to blunt any blades out really quickly this is my regular uh, machine for all cuts and that's just an extra blade that could be used for any of them these are all my old blades that are now blunt but before I throw them out completely I move them up here and I wear them down 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 until they're completely dead on the cutouts to completely cut it out because so I never learned how to actually do the double cut on the page and I don't want to learn because <laughs> this works for me this is a document stand I just really like the look of it but it's actually not that practical um because it's very big this was from Kiki K and the dividers from from Kate Spade this is from Tesco's just a little notepad kit or sticky note this is my snow globe from New York when I went to New York, the one thing I've always wanted from New York was a snow globe. And I got this when we had just, it was the gift shop of the Empire State Building. This is from Ikea as well. And these are all of my uh, disposable and decompostable <laughs> cello bags. I all keep the separate sizes. They're my monthly ones, they're my full kits. These are my notes page, kit, notes page kits. These are just other ones like separate glitter headers or double boxes that are extras. These are all my foiling ones down here. These are my kit headers that I keep separate. This is my vellum for wrapping my orders. This is my hard drive. I do keep everything on this, but I back everything up to my hard drive. This is just white out eraser. Lots of these bulldog clips and then some paper clips. Box of tissues, great. A marble coaster that I got from Matalan. And I have my iMac, hey. And then I have my Kate Spade stapler, Kate Spade tape dispenser, keeps all of my stuff on. Kate Spade, can you tell I like Kate Spade? Kate Spade uh, pots, and these are all Kate Spade. I wrap my orders in these, so I hook the invoice and the envelope and everything together to keep everything in one place. They're both from Kate Spade. Then I have my planner in here, my Erin Condren. My current book that I'm reading, this is the one I'm reading, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. My ooh, iPad Pro is down here. And then I keep two wires constantly attached. So I have one wire for charging my mouse and my keyboard, and then the other wire is to charge my iPad Pro. My keyboard, my mouse, this cute little mat is from Catnip, so cute. And I have my Dymo printer. When I first got this, I hated it because it just never worked. But then I realized it was because of the internet of where I lived. Shocking internet, but it's actually brilliant now. Then I have a pen pot of stuff. This is actually a mug from Anthropology, but I cracked it and I didn't want to throw it away because I loved it. So I put my pen pot inside of it and then I keep it like that so I just have all my random pens some scissors these ones are my scissors just for cutting my foil they're Heidi Swap ones and they're great these highlighters are great these are big marking highlighters they're the best ones I've found these pens are also amazing these are the Emot fine liner fine yep I use them for writing in my planners and also the sharpie one as well they're perfect for glossy premium they're great on on my papers anyway they really work well so that this is my personal planner this just has all of my personal stuff in like my finances and a little journaling bit to do list and like password reminders and stuff like that that's all in there calendar this is from oh what's it called accessorize in the sale these are my new blue light blocking glasses that I got yesterday. These are my AirPods that I keep here. This is a new phone stand that I got yesterday. You just slot your phone in here, but I'm actually filming all of this video on my phone. Then I have my Apple Watch charging, a little spray lamp. Keep all my wires here. In these drawers, I keep my washi tape that I got from Oso oh Paperies. My bone folder, which folds my vellum. A glue tape and my current journaling card but 
I'm nearly out of these. I have ordered next month's. I don't know what they're going to turn out like because they're a little bit special next month's. These are all of my freebies. These are what I seal all of my stickers with, my kits. These are my PR freebies. So I have one underneath there. These are the new freebies for this month. So these are all the icons I drew myself. And then I just have more washi tape. Back here I have my airmail sticker stamp and then I have some first class stamps which I'm nearly out of and these are just from my business card order again and then I've um stuck them or like uh blue tacked them to the bottom this is from Muji this is just a pin board of stuff that I like so this was from Coco Natasha this was from New York when I got I got that the Empire State Building as well when I got my snow globe then this is from H&M, this is from uh, Plush Paperies, I think it was a freebie, Harriet Wright Designs freebie, that was from a collection that she did, a charity one a while ago. This is from Studio Marvin, uh, this is from Old English Company, I think, my banner. I wanted white and a flag, but it, it gets so dusty. Um, yeah, I've got all of these from Catnip and Old English Company and Sugar Nova. There. I've got some other pins on the way, but I'm just waiting for them to arrive. This is from my home collection, the sticker kit. I loved it so much that I printed it out on some cardstock and then hung it up. It's really pretty. This is just personal stuff, glasses, hand cream, my nail strengthener, all that random stuff is just in there, so I won't show you that. <laughs> this is posting stuff, so I have this for posting orders this is a guide for uh, UK my weighing scales these are all my stickers that I use to so that seals my vellum and then I put this on the actual envelope of the order then I have some A4 sized cello bags there then in here I have all of my envelopes these are just my regular ones and I have these for when people just order uh, notes page kits and they don't fit in I can fit one or two in here but then any more than that they have to go in here or if the order's big it goes in there then I have more down here these are if people only buy foils or character stickers they fit perfectly in there they're A6 this is just my to-do pad that I just stuck in here uh, a four size if anyone orders any of the vellum and then there are some Kiki K folders down there and this is all of my camera equipment I love this drawer that just has all random stuff at the back then I have my Canon this is what I filmed the last couple of videos on but I can't get to grips with the focus I need to practice more so that's why I'm filming this on my phone but that's just the kit lens it's very old camera it's about 12 years old now that's the 50 millimeter lens that's great for getting like that blurry background depth of field this is my Olympus pen with the kit lens, 45mm lens, so it's like this one, it gets that blurry background depth of filled thing. This is my Instax camera, this is my new stand for this camera or this one whenever I use them, that's for my desk. That is everything. So that is everything. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will have everything linked down below for you in the description bar or if it's not there just leave a comment and I will get back to you. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in another video.